Hello and welcome back to the XCOM project. Well, I think we finally reached the point where this may be unwinnable. Um, as Aquasharky Boys pointed out, I've lost, completely lost the last four missions in a row. Um, I'm just outstripped completely when it comes to uh, technology and experience of troops, etc. So we're going to take it to the council report. Just, just to see what happens that far. But the odds are high I will be restarting. Because um, my hope is that if I take what I've learned um, from this first playthrough, then I won't make some of the stupid mistakes I made the first time through. And hopefully things will go a little bit better. Well, here's the council report. The inability of this project to maintain the support of several crucial council members has greatly reduced the effectiveness of both entities. This entire undertaking was the product of an ill-conceived plan. A series of simple misunderstandings <laughs> met with an overzealous response. <laughs> I get the feeling they're not happy. The best course of action now is to cooperate with the Ooh. aliens for the betterment of all mankind. We are of one mind about this. The path ahead is clear. <laughs> oh well. I think that is game over anyway. Oh, they're so unhappy. Hmm, <laughs> defeat. Classic difficulty. Day survived. 153, the world survived 252 before the aliens killed it. Um, battles fought. Oh no, I think this is the average. Yeah, this is probably the world average, so... Not good. Battles fought 24. <laughs> battles won 18, lost 6. Aliens killed 174. Soldiers lost 45. Average shot accuracy 53%. Average damage per shot, 4.6. Yeah. I mean, if you compare that to the world averages, it's really not good. And that's it. We're back here. Ah, boo-hoo. Okay. Well, I didn't think that that would take long. Let's start again. Alright, I still want to go with classic difficulty. Because that's what I was playing on before. I think dropping too easy would just be the... Um, I do want Iron Man... But I do not want the, the tutorial. Because I think skipping the tutorial will give me a little bit of freedom, a little bit of extra money. It means I can concentrate on the stuff that I really want to. So, um, as for recruiting soldiers, what I will do is I've got my list in front of me of the current group of people that were there. Um, and what I'll do is I'll continue the recruiting in the same order as we had before. So, if you have... Um, if you had a troop that was alive, which I believe was only Vlax, <laughs> you know, Vlax, you're going to get a, um, another sniper. Everyone else, it's going to be the same order that was here before. So on the waiting list is uh, Thomas, Josh, Faceplant, J-Bob, Sabotage, Wilson, Alex Johnson, and Jack Mando. Um... And they've got their preferences as to whether or not they're assaults or supports or heavies or medics, etc, etc. So we'll just carry on with that. Um, anyone wants to get added to the bottom of the list? You know, like, um, you know, Wildebeest Hershey, um, Mysterio, if you want back in, just just drop a comment in uh, with the name and the preferences. So let's um, let's see whether or not we can do better this time. I'll probably skip over... Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to skip skip stuff like that. Right. Identify base location. So, North America, aircraft and weapons cost 50% less. Europe is lab and workshops cost 50% less. I don't want that. that. That's what I had last time. Asia, projects in the foundry and officer training school cost 50% less. Now, that's quite interesting because the foundry has got some quite expensive high-tech stuff which can really make stuff powerful and officer training school means stuff like six-man squads is going to be half the price South America autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly 
and Africa means my monthly income goes up. Um... I quite like this. Future combat. Let's go for a high-tech advantage out of the gate. Um, then I will try and secure South America pretty quickly. Because that way I will get... Once you have complete coverage on a continent, you get the ability. So, if I concentrate on... If I try and grab South America and North America as soon as possible, then I think that's a good way to go. So we'll start with Asia, okay? Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. Okay, so we're being dropped straight into an a local broadcast indicating alien activity with Yes, 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 yes. You're saying the same thing you normally do. Right, we're being dropped straight into a mission in Australia. Perth, Australia, to be uh, precise. Looks like it's at a mini mart. So sweep the area, neutralize all hostiles. So obviously this is going to be a group of rookies with normal equipment. But the enemy are going to be um, a lot weaker than they have been. But that does not mean I should get complacent. I want maximum survival. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. I won't. Uh, because there's only four of us, of course. Right. Um, let's start with just a movement phase. Alien life on Earth. Okay. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Okay. They're on the move. Yep, yep. And I know you've been flanked right now, but I get to move everyone else first. So let's move you to this heavy cover here. Twenty-five percent chance. Well, you're in heavy cover. Adjusting sights. Right. Um, you will also have heavy cover, I believe. So you can move there. You can see two of them. 45% chance against him. Let's go with that one. Ah, that's a lot of bull. Yep, everyone's missing, of course. Because <laughs> my guys always do. Right. Now, you, I think, I want to tuck in... I don't think I'll get flanked from that way, so let's try and tuck you in there. I'm actually gonna... No, no, we may as well just shoot. Oh no, that was the wrong soldier! Oh, okay, alright, I've left him flanked. <laughs> so much for not making stupid mistakes. Oh, oh well, maybe he'll get lucky. He got lucky. Okay, now I want to move my guys in a bit, I think, if I can. I'm all right. But I want to keep them with the heavy cover, if available. So, yeah, you can move to there and you will have heavy cover. And it means you get a flank on him. But he's the one who's doing the psychic connection. Would a frag grenade get them both? Uh, no. Right. Next soldier, though. Oh, there's a nice bit of heavy cover there. Oh, there's heavy cover there, and you might also get decent flank. 65% and 45%, that's good. I basically want to sort of get in the habit of moving everyone into a decent firing position. So you can move into this heavy cover here. And you can see all three of them, that's good. 
Ah, uh, that's half cover. I think you just need to tuck back there a bit. Okay, you've got eyes on just him, so... Missed, of course. Right. We've got a 75 on him. 50, 50, 45, 65. Okay, let's start with the 75 on this guy. Night, night! Now I think I've got... Weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Mm, I don't remember them saying that last time. Okay. Let's think about this a second. Who, who has eyes on that guy? Him and... Him. Right. What if you lobbed your frag grenade? I'm wondering whether I can blow his cover away. Probably not. Okay. Let's just go for the shot then. 45% chance. Negative damage. And you've got a 45% chance. Oh well, that's a shame. Okay, everyone's in heavy cover. Oh, he's gone to Overwatch. Shooting. Got a lot of heat on me. Right. Now that guy went to Overwatch, but I'm going to flush him out with a grenade. Suck on this. <laughs> Absolutely. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. <laughs> Certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. No, no, I want my guys to keep doing that. That would be a dash. So, I would be able to shoot back. That would be half cover, but in closer. Alright. I'm wondering if there's some way I can get that, draw that guy out. Okay, Pavlov, move to there and Overwatch. Heavy cover. Actually, I'm kind of tempted to just grenade again with this guy. I wonder if I could grenade in such a way to take his cover out without actually killing him. Let's see what that does. Brag out. Oh well, it killed him. Okay, um, Overwatch, because there's still aliens about. Okay. What's the tactical situation at the moment? Getting someone up onto that roof might not be a bad idea. Could you get up there? And reload. Back online. That would be a dash. I'm wondering which, which way around the building to sweep. I think we do just move there. Just 
hop in there. I think it'll be safe enough. I've got to remember some of these guys need need to reload. I don't want them running out. Let's do this. And you stay on Overwatch. Okay. Oh, okay. We can hear I sound don't think we're coming alone from there. Alright, Suleiman. Um, if you could wait a second. Let's move to this heavy cover here. Overwatch. You should be safe enough there. Now, Pavlov, I think I actually want you to start going around the other way. dash you to there with the half cover. And we'll overwatch you. Whoa! Okay, so much for that bit of cover. It just spontaneously blew up. You'd have to dash to get to there. Okay, move to that heavy cover. You can overwatch. Right, who opened that door? It wasn't me. bit of cover. I think they're in the next building. So we're going to get set up as nicely as we can. We can dash out to that. I think that's safe enough. Yeah, they're inside that building. I think we're alone out here. Which means there's not much you'll be able to do from up there. There's another doorway there. Um, let's dash you to here. Let's scared the birdies away. Right. Go there. Go here. X rays spotted. Oh, there they both are. Right now, you, I think, are going to get a flank, aren't you? Start with you, move you to that bit of heavy cover there. That's all half cover, so. Yep, okay, you've got a flank on him. So take him out. Okay, bit of damage. And now where's the guy on the roof? He's already moved. Um. I have the horrid feeling that these internal walls won't take much punishment. Now you've both already moved your half, so I'm just going to overwatch you both. I probably should have waited till next turn before I opened the door. Alright, he's being psyched. And then that guy's going to shoot at the dude out there. Hopefully his heavy cover will work. Help! 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 Someone help! Okay. He's damaged and panicked. 
but he took out the um, sectoid. That's the like. Uh, that's the type of panicking I like. Right. You pop down to this bit of heavy cover, and you've got a flank on them both. Nice. Seventy and sixty. Shoot. Oh, I really could have done with you hitting. I'll get them next time. Right. What could you do? Mm, it's actually a bit tricky, isn't it? You, I think, should dash to here. You, hmm. I'm not sure if I move you. I'm going to move you there, and if you've got line of sight, great. If not, not. Okay, so Overwatch. So it's those two out the front that that are going to draw the fire. Ooh, was that it? Okay. You. Bit of heavy cover there. <laughs> Got a flank on both of them. So. Let's see if we can just position everyone and then we can get the, the best to hits for everyone. Okay, now you've got a flank on that one for 76. That's pretty good. Adjusting sights. Yes, adjust your sights. Because that's terrible. <laughs> Alright, you've got a flank on him for 70. And this is where it all falls apart due to sheer bad luck. Alright, just those two left. Can you move for a better firing position? Yes, but it's a dash. Well, 58% is still pretty good. Or I could grenade them. Hmm. I need the bodies and the weapon fragments. Okay, so that one's damaged. So you've got a couple at 65%. I'm going to go for the undamaged one, because if she hits, she's got a good chance of killing him. Oh well. I'll get him next time. Alright, what are you going to do? Oh, that's his cover gone. X-ray's coming in from the sides! Ah! Okay, those two are wounded. So, first let's move you back into some heavy cover. Um... Why won't you let me move there? Not quite sure what's 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 wrong with that. Okay, you're wounded as well. Okay, you've got a 70. Come on now. Execute these guys. 76% chances should not be missing. Okay, you need to get out of that. So, let's dash you to there. At least you'll have heavy cover. And it will help keep uh, help keep them surrounded. You... You're also wounded, but you currently have heavy cover, so let's just take your best chance to hit. X-ray neutralized. Need right. a resupply. One left. Let's end this. Got him. Or, or not. Okay, 
You need to run away. I'm all right. Right. Let's move you to where you can see him. And shoot. Okay. Good mission. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Good. Okay, well that was a good first mission. Um, everyone survived. So let's see what sort of promotions we get. Once I find out what... Uh, obviously I want an air on Sniper. That's going to be first. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Um, My role in this project I'm tempted to skip this stuff. I'm going to skip this because we've seen this before. And keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you... There we go. Right, we've got an assault, a support, and a heavy. So, no air on yet. Uh, give me a second while I check, check the list and, and we'll see who these guys can be recruited to. But first, let's just... The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squad... Okay, uh, new research available. Xenobiology, weapon fragments, alien materials. We've got six corpses and eight weapon fragments. To the squad. You be quiet. The rocket launcher in tow. There are demolitions experts. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm going to check the list and recruit some soldiers. Okay, I. Okay, I've recruited three soldiers. Now, one thing is, um, from now on, I want to put the soldiers of the different types in set coloured armour. It'll help me identify them on the battlefield. So, in your preferences, you can, you know. Uh, specify preferences for gender, race, hair color, haircut, etc. Commander, um, the research and the role, Commander, or you can just say any. You know, if you really don't, um, if you really don't care. But um, armor color, you know, I want to sort of keep it the same. So anyway, we have an assault trooper by the name of Thomas, and my assault troops will all be in red. We have a heavy by the name of Sabotage, and I'm going to put all my heavies into white. Then we have a support troop by the name of Josh, and they'll all be in blue. Um, and I think I'll put all my snipers into green. So that's it for the troops. Um, they really want me in research, so I'll just pop on over there. Hello, Commander. Yep. Commander to engineering. Commander yep, so that's just basic, uh, the basic intros. So Xenobiology lets us build the containment. Weapon Fragments lets us start working on that, and Alien Materials lets us start working on the armour, I believe. Um, what do I want to start with? I think I'll always go for the thing that gives me the armour first. Although Xenobiology is quite important, it can wait possibly until we've got those satellites up over South, um, uh, South America. So I will go with Alien Materials. Commander. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but... Yep, if... yep. Alright, engineering. This is where we can build facilities. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Yep, yep. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Okay, the first thing I want to do is satellites, I think. Well, I've got a, I've got 190, so I can afford to build one satellite, so I'm going to. Manufacture, submit, order. There we go, that's a satellite going up. Um, med kits, yep, we'll take two of them. Okay, so that's the basics down for that. Um, I don't have much money. How are we for the, in the hangar? Commander to mission control. We have two interceptors in Asia. That'll do us. Uh, sit situation room. Nothing there at the moment. We've got to go to mission control. So that's it. Um, we've got a satellite being built already. Um, I believe 
don't we have the capacity? Why isn't there a, situ a situation room yet? I think maybe I, um, I have to go through one more mission before I can actually start launching fresh satellites. So let's just go for it. <laughs> 